What the heck, bro? What's up Mopar fam? I hope everybody out there is having a fantastic time and today we're going to be working on my brand new trailer that I picked up a couple weeks ago. This is my brand new 24 foot long striker car hauler. I got rid of my old trailer and I ended up going with a solid steel car hauler trailer from striker and this is a hydraulic tilt trailer so no ramps to deal with none of that mess. This trailer completely tilts up and down just like a rollback and so far i'm absolutely loving this trailer uh, the fender on the driver's side does come off if you need some extra room and this winch is also a harbor freight badlands winch this is a 12,000 pound winch that i installed that was on my old trailer and that winch right there is absolutely badass for the money you cannot beat it and I have pulled some stupid heavy stuff up my old trailer with that winch. And definitely a good winch for the money. So today, what we're actually going to be doing is this trailer has just a regular manual crank uh, trailer jack. And we are going to be installing the new electric trailer jack. This is from Harbor Freight. And this jack is a little over $100. And it's a 3,500 pound capacity, which should be more than enough for what I'm doing with this trailer and, the, and my race truck on top of it. Um, and usually when you're hauling some weight, most of your weight's over the axles anyway. So we're not gonna be having 3,500 pounds of tongue weight on this trailer ever, but this jack will do more than enough for what I'm gonna be using it for. But it's completely electric. It also has a built-in light to help you see the hitch area at nighttime. And it also comes with a manual hand crank just in case your battery dies or if this device was to malfunction, you can still use the jack. But we're gonna install it on the trailer and we're gonna try it out, see how it does. Pretty simple install. We're just gonna unbolt the old trailer jack and basically bolt this one on, make a couple wiring connections, and then we'll be able to test it out. But I do want to show you, I will do a better review on this trailer here soon. Uh, we'll hook it to the truck. We'll put frostbite on top of it. And we'll go out and do some uh, driving with it. And do a better review on this trailer for sure. But I will show you the tilt feature on it. That's very badass and very simple to use. All you do is raise up the door right here. And then inside you have your battery and you have your hydraulic motor and your tank for your fluid. And then they have a remote control right here that is also magnetic. So you can basically stick it anywhere, which is pretty nice. And all you got to do is simply hit the button. And here we go. Pretty awesome. And like I said, for hauling frostbite around, this is what I think, this is the best way to go. You don't have to deal with ramps. You don't have to deal with the, you know, the kicker ramps like I had on my old trailer on the very back, or some trailers have them tucked underneath. No messing with ramps, none of that garbage. Tilt it up, drive on, let it down, you're ready to rock and roll. All we got to do is remove my old jack, which is three bolts right here, and it'll come out. I am going to get a floor jack real quick to lift up the front of the trailer so that we can obviously take all the weight off of the trailer jack and then unbolt this. And then we'll slide the new one in and bolt it up, and we should be good to go. Keep in mind, this trailer jack from Harbor Freight basically does replace any a-frame type trailer jack so if it's got the three bolts and it's an a-frame trailer jack like this 
that electric jack will fit basically every trailer out there. A couple of 9 16 wrenches should do the job. So we're gonna get these bolts out real quick. Alright, once you get the, the bolts out, jack is basically ready to come out. You're just going to grab it, pull it straight up, and old jack is out. Now it's time to put in the new jack. Alright, so we're going to get the new jack right here. This is a new electric jack. We're just going to grab it, simply drop it in where the old jack was. Alright, and the next step, guys, is putting the bolts in for the new jack got my son out here helping out and we are putting in the new hardware for the new electric jack so we're going to tighten this guy up after we get the bolts torqued down then we're going to be working on to the wiring which is pretty simple you got one wire which this goes to the, the positive side of the battery and then you're pretty much good to go the system grounds through the jack so just make sure you have a good ground going from the trailer the new electric jack to the trailer frame and you should be good to go all right everybody we have the new electric trailer jack installed from harbor freight very simple bolts right on and you have a one wire connection pretty pretty easy so three bolts down there this switch is your up and down switch this trailer jack also has two lights it's got a light on each side for nighttime applications and then there's a button right here on the back that red button and that is what activates the lights so if we press the button you'll see the lights has came on and they're actually it's daytime right now but I can tell you they're gonna be pretty bright lights um, definitely better than nothing when you're trying to hook a trailer up at nighttime it should help out a lot turn them off right there with the button and then the trailer function up and down right here that's going up towards you and that'll be going down now, now you can see me I'm gonna, I'm gonna operate the up and down feature with the electric jack it's definitely not very fast it's geared very low so that it can pick up the 3500 pounds but I tell you it's definitely better than doing it by hand with a hand crank so I'm gonna go down as you can see, we're going down with it right now. And then I'll go up. So there you go. It works great. Like I said, not super fast, but I'm perfectly fine with that. As long as this thing keeps working, we'll be good. Now, this jack also comes with a you're fucked situation just in case the battery dies or the electric motor somehow does go bad in this unit. And let me show you what that is. So they send you a little metal crank that goes right here on top. There's a rubber plug. You pull off this plug and then you would insert the tool right here on top to be able to hand crank the jack up or down. And again, that's, that's a if you're screwed situation where maybe your battery on your trailer has died or worst case you know scenario this doesn't happen but the electric motor or something on this jack malfunctions you can still let the trailer up and down manually just throw the hand crank in the truck keep it with you and then you always have a backup if something happens definitely you definitely don't want to be up a shit river so there you go guys hope you enjo enjoyed the install it's a fun little project didn't take long at all we probably spent 30 minutes on this very simple it works just like it should harbor freight go grab you one like i said they're a little bit over a hundred dollars i think it was around 120 bucks 129 dollars somewhere right there and uh yeah i'm gonna enjoy it this trailer's definitely gonna be nice it has the hydraulic tilt bed now we have an automatic electric jack so pretty much you know 
pretty damn straightforward. So other than that, we'll see you guys on the next one.